The goal of this video is to demonstrate more complex control of systems. In this case, we'll con consider the swing up of a simple pendulum. Here, the pendulum starts in the vertically down position, and we are tasked to get it to the upright position. We would need two controllers to achieve this. One is a swing up controller, and second is a controller which holds onto the vertical upward position. This type of complex control can best be achieved by what is known as a finite state machine. In a finite state machine, we have states. Each state has a certain action, and we need some conditions in order to switch from one state to another state. In the case of this problem, we will start the pendulum in the vertically downward position. We'll have a state called FSM, finite state machine swing up. When the pendulum reaches a certain angle, here it will be 2.5. Zero being vertically downwards, we will switch to a different controller which has the state FSM hold, and that controller will basically hold the position in the vertically upward position. To swing up, we'll use a velocity controller, and to hold a position, we'll use a position controller. Let's see how this is done in a uh, Python. The the code for finite state machine for the can, uh, for the pendulum swing up would be based on earlier code I developed for position, torque, and velocity servo. I'll put this file in the description, but if you run this file, you see that there's a pendulum which swings up using a torque servo. First thing I want to do is rename this file as pendulum FSM. Next, what I'll do is I will turn off this torque servo. And I would also like to set the initial state to be vertically downward direction. So running this will show that the pendulum doesn't move and it's vertically downward direction. Next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to set the FSM states. So FSM swing up will get the name, we'll get the number zero. FSM hold, which is the next day, we'll get number one. Next, I will initialize the finite state machine. For that, I will use this global variable FSM to keep track of which state it is in. So FSM equals FSM swing up. So I'm initializing the pendulum in the FSM swing up position in our state. Now, Next step is to write the controller. So what I'll do here is I will say that if FSM equals to FSM swing up, then I need to use a position, oh, sorry, a velocity servo. So this is my velocity servo and I want the velocity to be 0.5 and I will comment this pass. Okay, so now if I run this, you see that the pendulum moves at uniform speed of 0.5. So next I need to program a transition. So when the pendulum reaches an angle of about 2.5 from the vertically downward position, I need the pendulum to switch to the hold position. So what I'll do is first I'll say if theta dot q pose zero, which is the angle of the pendulum is greater than equal to Two point five, and if FSM equal to FSM swing up, if it's in the FSM swing up state, then I need to transition to FSM hold. So this is just defines the transition. I still have to program the the state, uh, the action in the state. So if FSM equals to FSM hold, then what I want to do is I want to set the position servo, which is now actuator number one, with a gain of 100. And I want to set the velocity servo with, which is actuator two, with a gain of 10. And then my command, which is a position command is data.ctrl1, because that's actuator one, equals np.5, which is the vertically upward position. So let's run this. 
missing the colon. So here the error is because FSM is not being referenced. That's because I've not defined it as a global variable. So it's been defined as a global variable and run this. So now the pendulum swings at uniform speed. When it reaches 2.5, it'll transition and go to the vertical upright position and hold to that position. So we will run this again. So this is how you can use finite state machine to create more complicated controls.